evening. Okay, guys, we are going to start. I'm just going to share with you the main objective for today's class. We have that is you will be able to give and ask for opinion about a customer satisfaction of a product. Since we have been uh, practicing about online shopping, right? Um, whenever we are the customers and uh, it is very common for us to be asked to fill uh, some service in which we can say if the service that we received was okay or not. And that's why this class it is going to be related to that right to customer satisfaction of a product this is like <clears throat> sorry this is like a, a general information that we have related to the service the importance of customer satisfaction service so we have this, and I would like to listen to, let me see if someone is available. Okay, uh, Rose. Rose. Jose Adilson. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Adilson. Can you help me reading? what we have here, please. Okay, teacher. Customer satisfaction sur, sur, bear. Starbase. Sur, service. Help business need better understand and util, util the invoice of the customer to sustain growth, there are several key reasons about and be beyond this over over overarching overarching wall 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 that may customer satisfaction sur sur varies a top priority priority for customer search business thank you very much jose Dilson. thank you okay teacher okay now i'm going to help you a little bit with uh pronunciation right about this but let me see I have more let's see I'm going to read it and later we are going to continue uh, describing 
or trying to understand what the customer satisfaction service are. It says, customer satisfaction service help businesses better understand and utilize the voice of the customer to sustain growth. There are several key reasons about and beyond this overarching goal that make customer satisfaction surveys a top priority for customer-centric businesses. So what is this? Have you ever filled a customer satisfaction survey? Have you ever done it? Have you ever? Yes? No? ¿Alguna vez han llenado una customer satisfaction survey? Yes, teacher. No? no? Never? For example? Yes, teacher. Okay, Elsie, thank you. For example, sometimes um, when you called, sometimes um, to these uh, companies about telephones, right? And then maybe you have a travel and you call them and they uh, give you a technical support, right? When you finish, when you have no problems, they send you immediately a customer satisfaction survey because they want to be sure that your problem has been solved. And uh, that is why we have like different kinds of customer satisfaction service. What are the main purpose for them to share this? Well, we have different aspects to be highlighted. Number one, let us listen to Elsie. Can you read please number one? And then Osvaldo, can you read? Identify negative themes in the customer experience. By conducting customer satisfying service, companies can pinpoint negative, negative themes that customers are having and work to resolve them. This helps improve the overall customer's experience and, in, and increases customer loyalty. Thank you, Elsie. Osvaldo, are you there? Aren't you there? Okay, I'm going to read it for you. The gouging customer loyalty. These surveys give customers a chance to share feedback that yields their propensity to be a loyal customer. Companies can use this information to better retain customers. Number one, what Elsie read was that, what is the main purpose for the companies to work with the service? Well, one of the main purposes is trying to identify negative aspects about the customer's experience. That is the main reason for all this service. Now, how are they going to do it? Well, they're going to try to look for those negative themes and what they want to do is to resolve them. What is this for? Well, the main purpose for them is that they want to help their customers and of course, to improve the overall customer's experience. Otherwise, maybe that customer is not going to continue with the service. 
And that is the reason why they are really interested in the way that uh, you have solved or not your problems. And number two, it is like, whenever you are going to feel a customer service, that feedback is going to help the company. Why? Because they want to keep the customers to retain them. So this is not just for getting information. This is because they really want to have that feedback to keep customers. We have more. We have number three and number four. In number three, we have identifying customers' trends. In this case, surveys allow companies to identify the customer satisfaction. For example, they say that the customers have the same complaint about a product. There may be a shift happening in the market that your business hasn't noticed. Maybe you, ha you haven't realized about that. But whenever you have this and having the feedback, okay, you can go ahead, right? Uh, because you are solving the problems and also you have the opportunity to get more. Providing a competitive advantage. Companies that regularly conduct customer satisfaction service and make adjustments based on feedback are likely to outperform their competitors. This is because they are better able to meet customers' needs and expectations. You know that if you are getting a, a, a service, there are many companies that they are providing the same service. That's why this has to be something competitive. And they want to be ahead. They want to be the first one. They want to be or they want to provide the best service. But for doing this, they need information. They need to know if they are working, if they are doing it correct. Otherwise, if they are not working in the way that they want to, or they think that they are doing it, so they need to look for different strategies. Number five, validating business decisions. Customers' opinions and feedback are two of the most essential factors that validate decisions within your business, allowing you to become more equipped to meet their specific and immediate needs instead of basing your strategy on assumptions. So, it is much better to have the information, right? Because they are going to analyze it because they have the specific team that they are going to work on those strategies, right? So, when we validate decisions, and it is what it says here, most essential factors that validate decisions, if they have the information, they can get the opportunity to look for those new strategies and of course, to validate. And number six, shaping the customer life cycle. What is the main purpose? To retain the customers. And if they stay there, it means that they are going to continue purchasing the product 
one, two, three more time. So, of course, that all these companies want to retain the customers. Otherwise, they are going to um, lose their customers and at the same time, they lose the product, right? Now, if we are talking about the service satisfaction, we have to understand that. When and how are we going to, to include in the different service? We are going to do like a general, I'm going to do my survey in this moment, but without having any information about this. But I would like you to work, you are going to work with your team because you are going to recreate and you are going to have a, like a brainstorming about the experiences that you have had about one service, maybe, it can be related to the uh, internet connection. Maybe it can be related maybe to a product that you have bought, maybe a phone, or maybe a, any service that you uh, may have in common with your team. That's what I want you to discuss. What services do you have? Good evening, Jessica. What common services do you have and how do you consider or how do you evaluate that service? They can be national services or maybe they can be uh, private services, right? So that is what you are going to do in this right moment with your classmates. You are going to discuss a little bit about the services that you have. As customers, you are going to be the customers in this. Of course, you are the customers. And that is why you're going to discuss a little bit about this. Do you understand? Do you understand? No. <laughs> a little. A little? A little? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you one thing. ¿Quiénes tienen servicio de internet? Yo. Yo. All of us. <laughs> All of us. That is a common service that we have. Ahora, cuando se reúnan, ustedes van a decir, ¿y usted cómo evalúa ese servicio? El que usted tiene. Como, como customer. ¿Cómo lo evalúan? ¿Ok? Maybe you have from different companies. Maybe uh, one of you is going to have from a different company from, to the other one. But is that service okay? Is it poor or is that service excellent or not? How do you evaluate it? Now you understand better? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. Let's see. Teacher. Yes. Only the evaluation or conversation too? You are going to converse, but you are not going to write down any conversation just to interchange information with your classmates. Okay. okay? Thank you. That is the only thing. Yeah. Okay, so Berta, Elsa, and Jessica, Carolina Rodriguez, you're going to be together. Jose Adilson, Kenya, Stephanie, and Rose, you're going to be together.
Mm. Puede ser agua. Pero es que ahí oh. todos tenemos el mismo, creo yo. Anda. Yo no. Okay. No. Ok, no. evaluate. Even if it is el mismo, you can evaluate it. Ok. Ok. O energía también. Porque, por ejemplo, cuando le instalan, cuando le instalan a uno el internet, por ejemplo, si yo lo contraté ahora, ¿va? entonces ya a las dos horas me. De que quería, quería ella, eh, como que Valerie quería comprar una, una tablet, una MacBook, creo, y tenía que cotizar, entonces le daba cuánto, de cómo era la capacidad, dónde se encontraba y el precio. Y así fue que terminó la conversación. Ahí está la teacher. Teacher solamente es de darle la, la connotación al servicio o hay que hacer una breve... Conversation. No, no, conversation not yet. Just to interchange information about one service that you have. Only that. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, entonces. Okay. Okay. Claro. Solo hay que darle la, la connotación al servicio. Coming back, guys. Coming back. In 10 seconds, they are here. Jose Adilson, Kenny, and Rose.
Okay, guys. Now I would like to listen about the service that you discussed. Can you tell us? Okay. Uh, My team? Yes. Okay. That service is um Seguro Social Social Security. Oh my goodness. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. The quality usually is very bad because mm -hmm. don't have a medicine and the doctor he's in politics. Polit polite. Um, polite. 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 Okay. They never have the medicine that you need and you have to buy in with your money uh, even though they deduct your salary yes. monthly. Yes. So you need to pay twice because you pay yeah. to them and then you need to pay it extra uh, to buy it on your own. Okay, so for you, the service is that. Bad. bad, very bad. <laughs> okay. What about Jose Adilson? Teacher, es que nosotros lo estábamos hablando con Rose y Jose Adilson. No escribimos, ¿no? No, you don't have to write down. It is just a conversation. What you ah, did. Bueno. bueno, nosotros estábamos hablando del internet de, de Tigo. Ajá. Uh -huh. We, bueno, we give Tio internet service a score of eight because it signal something files even more when it rains. Um, and the yeah. customer service is a uh, night. Uh, some guys do not have the necessary information about what they do for uh -huh. uh -huh. Solo eso habíamos discutido. Okay, good. Because that is a good point because you need to know uh, you need to know how to evaluate one service, right? Okay, you have evaluated the internet connection and also Alberta and Elsa, they uh, evaluated the the health center, uh, um, what can I say, it? evaluation. Now, what about if we turn around the point of view? We are going to change roles, right? We are going to change roles in this moment. Imagine now that Seguro Social belongs to Berta and Elsa. You are the owners. You are not the customers. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. Yes, you are the owners. Elsa and Berta, you two are the owners. And now, uh, Rose, uh, Jose, in the Kenya? Yes. Now, yes. you are the owners of the company of the internet, the one that you mentioned. You are the owners. We have changed the roles. Now, if you are the owners, What information or what questions would you ask to your customers to evaluate your company? Okay. Okay. What questions would you ask them? Now, you are going to create, to design the survey because you want to have a feedback about your company. We are going to write down at least five 
questions to your customers. Remember, you are the owners. Five. Okay, five questions. Okay, let us go and work. Again. Let's see. Hello, teacher. Hello. 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 One question. Yes. Eh, queremos saber, más, o sea, que nos explique un poquito mejor qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Si son preguntas que ellos nos van a hacer a nosotros sobre algún servicio o qué. Yeah, okay. Lo que les decía era, ustedes presentaron como su evaluación hacia el servicio de internet, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Ahora le dimos vuelta. Ustedes no son los customers, ustedes son los dueños. The owners. Ah. Oh. Ok. Ahora, como owners de esta compañía, usted quiere evaluar cómo está haciendo su servicio. ¿Qué pregunta les haría usted a los customers? Que si le parece bien la, los 50 más megabytes que se le ofrece. That's it. Ahora ustedes hagan cinco preguntas como 
dueños de la empresa quieren saber tener un feedback de sus customers. Con respuesta o solo las preguntas. No, solo las preguntas. O sea, no, ok, teacher. Porque por okay. ahí vamos, por crear Thank preguntas. You. Ok, good. Okay. Thank you. Anytime. Fíjense que justamente ahora me hablaron los de Tigo para decirme. Tendríamos que, que ver primero, ¿Mm? tendríamos que ver primero como si este la medicina que se le ha recetado. Ajá, hay... como decir, tenemos Ajá. todas las medicinas para su especialidad. Ajá. Sería. Sí, le podemos poner, we all, we have. All medicine, do you require? Uh, do you okay. especially, algo así? Um. Traten de hacer preguntas más generalizadas, ¿ok? Ahorita no se compliquen mucho con el vocabulary, pero que sean más genéricas, ¿ok? Okay, teacher. Bye, entonces. We are coming back. Be ready.
Okay. Elsie, en verdad, now that you are the owner of Seguro Social, what questions did you write to have information about your customers? Okay. Number one, how many things you use our service? Okay, uh, how much time? How much how time? Much. How much? Okay. How much time you use okay. our service? Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, why we can not use many, but, but we want to say, quantas veces? Ah, it is, I, I was thinking about how much time in a general way, thinking about months or years. But if you are thinking about how many times have you visited the place or have you assisted to the okay, place? Say how many it times? Is different. Yeah, the, the, the question uh, is how many times in the year do you visit it? the is ah, okay okay how many times but maybe the best way in this case it is how often Come? how often uh, how often how often yeah it is better okay how often do you Okay. How often do you visit? Okay. The place. Okay. okay. The second is what specialities uh, have you used during this year? Okay. Another one? We had. No, no. Have you always found the medicine that's scripted for you? Okay. Yeah, good. Good. How far apart are your doctor's appointments? Can you repeat it, please? How far apart are your doctor's appointments? You uh you mean about the 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 amount of time that the the appointments are right? Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, uh, from one appointment to another one. Yeah. Yes. One, this. As, okay. Okay. And the last, how will you rate our service? Okay, good. How do you rate your service? I was thinking about the previous question. It is, how far is one appointment to another one? Okay. How far is one appointment from another one? So it is the distance from one appointment to the second or the third appointment. Okay. How far? How far are or how far is one appointment from the other one? And finally, how you how do you rate, right? That is a very <laughs> famous question. Good. Okay, thank you, Berta and Elsa. Now can You're we welcome. listen? Can we listen to Rosa's team? Yes, voy a Les voy a poner las preguntas en el chat a mis compañeras para que me ayuden a leerlas. <laughs> ok. Ok. <laughs> 
the first the the first question seria how can we improve the ser the internet service okay ahí está ahí están the question me ayudan compañeros yes. La primera, voy a comenzar yo. Ok, ok. Who have your phone or service so far? Number two, does the price you pay for our internet service seem far to you? Uh -huh. Ajá. Ayrton? No. <laughs> Ok, sigo. How wait, can wait, wait, we... wait, 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 okay, okay, okay. wait, 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 How can we improve our internet service? Okay. How do you like the attention with the technical support staff? Do you want to acquire more 5 megabytes of internet be paging 5 extra dollar, saving C dollar on your billing? Okay. Okay, guys. Very good. Now you see uh, the difference between being the customers and now being the owners. Because when we yeah. are the owners, we need to think about uh, how to improve the service. That is the main goal when we uh, become the owners. Okay. Thank you, guys. Here I have all the previous information, the ones that we read from number one to number six, it says that all that information in mind, when you get the information, the information with your customers, that is, it says, that is what we have, um, that is the main reason for us to have the customer satisfaction service, right? Otherwise, if you don't ask, you will never know about your customer's feelings. And also, if you don't ask, you will never be able to meet their needs. Only, only when you ask through different instruments, in this case, it is the survey, you are going to have that information, okay? I have here a list of different questions. I know you have worked with yours and that is okay, right? But I have here like a list of them for you. Oh, well, after this, after this. When we are talking about the customer service, we have different kinds of this service. For example, I have a post cold survey. Have you ever received a cold after a service? Okay, they say, okay, can you rate um, the way? Uh, okay, can you evaluate me? Can you rate my service? Okay, uh, with a phone call. Also, another way, it is through emails in the written form, okay? They send you an email and then you can evaluate them. Then through messages, SMS, survey, when they get into your phone and then you answer and then you send them. But then we have, uh, CSAT survey and also CES and also NPS survey. What are these ones? I think that we have no problems with this. We understand them. Also the email survey, we understand them. And also the postcall survey. But what about this side? What are they? How can I understand this? CSAT. C E S N P S. What uh, what do they mean? Well, this is these are the meanings.
CSAT satisfaction, we say customer satisfaction score. score. That is what we have from the first one. And then we have net promoter scored or the customer effort scored. And at the same time, we have like the way that you are going to evaluate. Because with this one, what you do is to measure how satisfied a customer is with a specific area of business. Like, dislike, neutral. Only three different aspects, okay? That is the satisfying uh, score. But with the second one, it says, measures overall customer loyalty towards your brand. In this case, you can check here numbers. You need a score, but through numbers. And in the last one, they are evaluated the effort, effort while interacting, the way that you interacted with the customers. And that's why, and they have Teacher, a what is effort? Way. Effort, effort is the, um, the um, how can I say it? For example, if you are, the customer and then you have the how can i say if you are the agent if you are um the one that is uh attending the customer you are going to uh, make different uh, um how can i say it, activities or different um strategies to Solve your customers' problems. That is okay. your your effort. Your effort helps is to help the customer, right? The individual effort per each agent. That is your effort. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. So this so. In a general, we have these six, but there are more. These not are all the ones that we have, the types of the evaluations. This is like a general one. But if you start looking for more, of course, you will find out more information about them. And before uh, checking the questions, I have the attendance. It is because my alarm already sound. Okay, guys, be ready for the attendance. Herta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher, so sorry, I don't have a, a camera and put on. Okay, camera. don't worry, don't worry. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruayes. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yo sí. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. 
Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores. Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Present. Wilmer, Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. Ok. En Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Ok. So now, as I said, we are going to see the different, the possible equations that we can have. These are sample of questions. I have a, a bank of questions in this. I have 10 here. I have 10 more, 10 more, and 10 more. Which ones are the best? It depends of the need. It depends of uh, um, your company. Because maybe we are going to use some questions that they are not going to give me the information that I want. So it depends from the company that you have, right? For example, the, maybe this one can be something neutral and you can say on a scale of one to ten how satisfied are you with uh, your store experience today this is a very good question right because it doesn't matter this is like the the, the service that they are evaluating. How satisfied are you with your in-store experience today? Or there is another one that the internet companies use a lot. Number eight, how likely are you to recommend this product, this service, to others. And a uh, one similar to Berta's team, rate your satisfaction with our team in resolving your issue. You see the different questions that we can use as, as the owners of the companies, of course. Even, number 10, did you feel that our team answered your inquiry promptly? Or do you think that you need more help? Do you agree or disagree that your issue was effectively resolved? Or how likely are you to purchase again for us? This is a good one. Imagine that from your company, in your company, you want to sell product. And then you want to know if that customer, if that person would like to continue buying your product. So this is a good question. How likely are you to purchase again from us? Or if it is online, to return to our website. If 
what you really want to improve is the service, but you need to get involved with your employees. Maybe 17 can be a good one. What can our employees do better? What happens with this one? What about if people answer this question? What can our employees do better? Ustedes como owners of the company, ¿qué harían with this information? Seleccionar el empleado del mes. Ajá. It sounds familiar, right? Yeah. It sounds familiar. Whenever you see there, uh, for example, if you go to a restaurant, they have their names, they have their pictures. Why? Because they are supporting their employees or maybe they have gotten information from the customers and they said, esto es lo que queremos de los empleados. So they are going to ask them to work in different areas. And that is what they do. So you see, this is a really bank of questions. I have more here. What about this one? Imagine what kind of company do you think that um, this question might be useful. How often do you use the product or service? How often do you use the product? What kind of company do you think is it might be? The bank. The bank? How often do you use the product? How often do you use a product? Do you think that a bank can apply to this? Yes. No. Okay, if I say the product, it goes more with a product that they need to use very frequently, right? Okay. So the product or service, if you say the bank, it now that you say it as a service, it can be as a product, no. But as a service, yes. How often do you use the service of the bank? Okay. It can apply, right? It can be. I'm thinking about the bank. How often do you use the online service from the banks? Yes, online service. How often do you use them? How often? Usually, mm. um, pay. Usually, oh. and um, sometimes. Okay, I usually use the online service, or I rarely use the uh, online service from the banks, or I frequently use the online service from the bank. So you see, yeah. I usually. Okay, so these are just examples of uh, the service. And here we have more, I'm going to rest. Now we are going to, these are just for you to have more vocabulary, right? Now we are going to check what our book has. Okay, our book has, in this case, I'm going to jump to it. Let's see. I'm going to stop here.
in our book on page number 23, you can find out this. Page 23. This is what we have. It says, read a survey about a customer's experience with a product. And they have questions, but in these examples, we have only four questions that can be applied. The difference here is that there we have like open questions, WH questions, but now in these examples, we have level the kind of questions. And for example, the question number one says, how satisfied are you with this product? And you give this criteria. You say, very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. The customer, the only thing that needs to do is to mark. Easy. These kind of questions are easier and they take less time for the customers to answer. What about if you are the owner, if you are the owner, ¿Cuál encuesta creen ustedes cuál uh, con, les gustaría a los customers contestar? ¿Una donde solo van a marcar o una donde tienen que escribir? Donde solo marcar. Donde solo marcar. Okay, that is easier. So we need to think about it. What kind of survey, how are we going to organize it, our survey? It is much better. Then it says, rate. Rate your opinion about the product's quality. High, average, low, or very low? Very low, we marked. The value of this product is excellent, good, poor, or very poor? Or we have, or we have the easiest. Would you continue using this product? Yes or not? Yes. It says no. Okay. But this kind of questions are going to help us to decide our survey. Now, that is what we are going to do in this moment. We are going to design not only, not only, the questions, but now we are going to design the survey and trying to use this kind of questions where you are going to provide this kind of answers. How many equations? Five questions, but now they are going to be different. They are not going to be open questions. Now you need to provide the scale where they, they are going to check only that. You are going no, to do that? No? No. Let's compare the questions that you did before. They were open questions, WH questions. ¿Tenían a dónde solo marcar en las preguntas anteriores sus customers? No. ¿Ahora tienen que hacerlo? Ok. ¿Con qué medida lo van a hacer? You decide si le van a poner el high quality, average, low, very low, or very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, or good, poor, very good, or yes or not. 
What questions are you going to include in your survey? Cambiamos de una open questions y nos vamos cerrando a this class of questions, this type of questions, okay? This is just for you to see the difference. Okay, guys, let us work. The same five. Remberto, can I send you to work with a team? Yes, teacher, please. Okay. Sí o no, la, la opción sería yes o no. Oh, no. Ajá, sería uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Yes o no. Pongámosle yes. En la segunda, ¿cómo le ha parecido nuestro servicio de internet hasta el momento? Ok, bueno, Oye. malo, o sea, excelente, Ajá. excelente. O oh, good. Eh. Poor, poor. Ay, perdón. Good, ajá, también está esa palabra. Eh, good, bueno. Good. Solo esas tres opciones. Ajá, no sé cuál le ponemos. Lo que pasa, fíjate, que si nosotros somos el que hacemos la encuesta, 
de, la otra persona lo debería de contestar, ¿va? pero si querés, pongámosle, como nosotros mismos los evaluamos, excelente. <risa> está bueno, está bueno. No sé, le ponemos good, de bueno. Sí, sí, sí. puede ser. Ahora, puchica, pero con esa sí no sé, ¿cómo podemos mejorar el servicio? Ahí sí no mm. sé. ¿Cuál agregarle? ¿Cómo mejorar el servicio? Porque mm. es una abierta, no es así como punto. Mm. Tal vez, ¿cómo mejorar el servicio? Tal vez pudiera ser um, instalar, uh, pero no sé. ¿Cómo lo podemos decir? Instalar mayor cobertura. Pero el problema es que tenemos que responder según lo que la teacher nos ha dado. Aquí ya ah. le envía la captura. Ok, permítame, déjame ver. Es que eso está lo, ahí está lo complicado. Ah, no, pues lo que no, pasa eh. es que tú, tú tienes que darle las opciones. O sea, la, lo que la teacher nos, nos, nos estaba enseñando eran como las opciones de, la, de las preguntas que ella tenía. Preguntas cortas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno, pues sí, no. Uh -huh. Ahí sí, no. Sí, lo, pero lo que pasa es que como solo se trata de marcar con una con Ajá. una X. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que por la forma de la pregunta es que esta es demasiado abierta. Uh -huh. Ahí sí, no sé, fíjense. No, es como la pregunta es muy abierta, ¿cómo podría mejorarse? Solo tal vez en vez de ponerle sí, no, good, solo sería de cambiar las, como ponerle otro ítem, por ejemplo, mejorar la señal, mejorar conectividad, eh, mayor cobertura, y tal vez solo se marca una de esas, no sé, mm -hmm. sí. Porque es lo único que se pudiera hacer, ¿verdad? Por el tipo de pregunta y el tipo de oración que se había formulado. Mayor. Mejorando la, el servicio de... Hardly ever, casi nunca. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry, Elsie, que la mandé para el otro equipo porque se me apareció desconectada, Berta. Es que ah. me sacó de la sala. Ajá, entonces por eso la mandé para que no estuviera solita, pero después... Ya me apareció Berta ya, así que la volví a mandar para acá. Ok. Ah, vaya, sí, sí. Está bien. Que allá vi que se quedó solita y extrañando a Berta. <risa> The other team. Ok. Vaya, en la segunda. What specialities have you used during the year? Se le puse el zero. Eh, one to two, de uno a dos, o mo, más de dos, more than two. Sería uh -huh. one? Zero. La primera sería zero. Uh -huh. Ninguna. Zero, la one. Segunda, ajá, la, una, la segunda sería de uno a dos, y la tercera opción uh -huh. es de...
Coming back, guys. Okay, guys, I would like to listen to uh, your questions, the one that you have modified them a little bit, right? Or maybe, well, I don't know if completely, in order to uh, get the different kind of answers. Can we listen first to Rose's team? Or it was... Yeah, Roses was there, right? Or Adilson's team. Oh, Rosen was oh. there. Roses and Roberto. Okay. Roses nos abandonó, nos dejó solo. Ah, really? Sí. <laughs> sí. <laughs> solo vio que estábamos en el grupo y nos abandonó. Uy, Dios. <laughs> okay. Can we listen to your questions yes. now? Ok, yo les voy a decir a ellos las, las preguntas y ellos me van a responder. Ok, good. Number one, do you think it's for one you pay for our internet service? Yes. Number two. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Ok. Respondan. Yes or no? <laughs> okay, he said yes or no. Okay, both options are. Ah, okay. Number two, how have you found our internet server so far? Excellent. Good. Good. Okay. Number, th number three, how can we provide the service? Improve the signal. signal. In, improve the signal. Mm -hmm. And in, increase coverage. Okay. Number four. How did you write the attention with the technical support staff? Excellent. Good, very satisfied. Number five, it's okay if we add five gigabyte your home internet for five dollars? No. Oh, yes. Okay. Finish. Okay. The only aspect that I can mention is, uh, and it is important to, to say it, it is, for example, in, in number four, you were saying uh, excellent, right? Good. Good. Uh -huh. good. Very and satisfied. Very satisfied. So in that satisfied. one, you have mixed both. Maybe because you can say satisfied, very satisfied, not satisfied, ah, okay. but you mixed ah, Okay. There. You said okay. excellent, okay. poor, like only one, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, we have a, check this. And the grammar point that we are going to use now after checking all the service, we have the usage of two modal auxiliaries. May or might, may and might. What is may, what is might? 
I'm going to show you. I have here made and might. What are these? These are modal verbs. And what are these modal verbs for? Well, they can normally be interchangeable without a significant difference in meaning. What does it mean? It means that I can use might or I can use may. Sometimes, okay, sometimes the meaning is very similar, but some other times the meaning is not very similar. So we need to understand the context first to see if they are similar or they are not that similar. This is the way that we are going to use them. With all of this, the, the subjects, we have might, I might, you might, he might, she might, it might, we might, they might. Or I may, you may, he may, she made it, may with may and they may. We are not going to add any S, for example, like this one. We are not going to say S. I'm not going to say she might, no. And I don't uh, even include she might states, no. I'm going to avoid the usage of this letter S. I'm not going to include, not even here, not even here. This is the correct way that I'm going to say she might stay. She might stay. Now here it is the verb. This is the modal, modal verb, and this is the verb. She might stay. Yeah, it's a modal verb. Might, it is a modal verb. En español, ¿qué es? <laughs> ah, you mean what is, okay? A modal verb, it is a modal auxiliary. Modal auxiliary that helps the verb. In, okay. this case, in this case, this modal verb is going to help the verb. Because okay. whenever whenever we say modal verbs, it is because they help to conjugate the verb in different ways. Okay. I'm going to erase. Then, but this is like isolated sentences. But now we are going to start it uh, with uh, using it with context. Well, here again, we need to understand that I'm not going to use to. I'm going to use the base form of the verb. I might go. You might go. She might go, she might know, we might know. The base form, even it is isolated without context. Now I have a better structure. I have a complete sentence. I say, I, my, watch, what? 
another episode. Maybe you are uh, in front of your TV and you are uh, seeing your best, the, your favorite series. And then you said, okay, I'm going to watch. I might watch another episode. I'm going to change and I'm going to say, hey, you may bring a partner to our event. Okay. He may have been nervous. She might tell us what happened if we asked her. It might rain this afternoon. We may be invited, but I'm not sure. They might go to the beach this weekend. Uh, Berta was asking me, hey, but what, what does it mean in Spanish? This is, this sounds very tricky. Because if you translate it into Spanish, you are going to say, oh, so it means the same. It sounds to be the same, but they have like little changes. When you say you may or you might. Okay. We say, if I say this, for example, I'm going to, we are going to translate this. They might go to the beach this weekend. What does it say in Spanish? Fin de semana. The complete sentence. Ellos, podrían... Yo podri... Ellos podrían ir a la playa el fin de semana. Este fin oh, de semana. Okay. En... Y esta, what does it say in Spanish? Él puede. Podría estar nervioso. Haber estado. Ajá. Haber Él podría estado, haber estado. Haber estado ¿no? Ok. ¿Qué dijo Remberto? ¿Cómo se decía esta? Podría. Podría. ¿Y qué dijo Berta aquí? Puede o puede. Podría. Ah. <ríe> ok. Podría en podría. So, that is like the difficulty in Spanish when we start like translating. Because in Spanish, it is kind, um, how can I say, in a very general way, las dos entran en la misma como traducción. But later we are going to see the little differences that they have. But in Spanish, they have mainly the same translation, right? Okay, right. we are going to see it. Here it is what we have, a little bit of explanations. We have, may and might express possibility. It says, hey, there is a chance of something being true or something happening. There is a chance. For example, hey, take an umbrella. It might rain later or it may rain later. ¿Cuál es el significado? Llevo mi sombrilla porque por si llueve. Ok, lleva, lleva la sombrilla. Ok, take an Yo umbrella. llevo mi sombrilla no, por, no, por no, que podría. No dice, no dice yo, yo llevo mi sombrilla. No, Solo tomo dice, mi sombrilla. No. Tomo una sombrilla. No. Ok, no. Ok, solo. Sí. Tomo. Lleva toma, sombrilla. 
Lleva sombría. Lleva sombría. Sí, sí podría llover en la tarde o más tarde. Hey, lleva sombría. Podría llover más tarde. Hey, lleva sombría. Podría llover más tarde. Podría llover más tarde. Both of them. In Spanish, we have no differences. And in English, in that context, no difference. O bien use a might or may, and no difference. In that context, no difference. Right? Right. Now, because both of them express possibility. Both. There is a possibility to rain later. And the same happens in here. I think she may win the singing competition or they might be late because of the bus strike. A possibility to be late? Yes, because of the bus strike. A possibility that she wins the competition? Yes, because she sings very well. Attendance, but I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it in the end, right? The attendance. So possibility in this case, not change. Okay. okay. Another aspect, another uh, context in which we are going to use may or my. When we ask for permission, when we ask for permission, it says, We use may to ask for permission. May sounds more polite than using can or could. Do you remember the previous class, yesterday's, yesterday's class? Can and yes. could? Okay. To be polite or not to be polite, this. But there is a higher one that means more polite than another one. We yesterday we were saying can okay. is polite, could is more polite. But this one it is even higher. Si could era más polite que can may viene a superar a could. Okay. Okay. And okay. then and then I say May I have some water please? May I borrow your dictionary? May I use the bathroom please? Pero aquí no tiene espacio might. In this case Asking for permission, might, is not included. Only may. Only may. If you want to ask for permission. Okay. Then. Given permission in the previous one, Asking for permission. May I use your bathroom? <laughs> May I go out? And now, given permission, I say, you may open the window if it becomes hot, or you may take a brochure if you like. Or you may leave the room once you have finished the test. You are given permission to the others. Again, it is related to permission. Ya sea que usted pida o que usted dé permiso, vea quien no está involucrado in this context of might. permission, might is not included. Only may.
again. We use may not. Now it is going to be in negative. Oops. In negative. May not. For not giving permission. This is to give permission. Give permission. But this is not give permission. What is the difference? You're going to make it negative. You can say, you may open the window. The negative? You may not. Open the window. Okay. That is the, that is a huge difference. You You're may referring... not no. open. Only not. This is for negative. But listen. It says, you may not not. No se les va a ocurrir poner you may or you don't may. No. You may not. Después del may, incluimos el not. Hey, you may not park your car in front of the gate. You may not leave the room without permission or you may not take bottles inside the museum. You may not. You may not. So this is this is um when you do not give permission it is that you prohibit it is not allowed prohibit okay quien no está involucrado tampoco aquí en no dar permisos might might so may está involucrado en Pedir permiso, dar no permiso, permiso y no, no dar permiso. Might is not included. Then we have another one. It says may is used in academic language to refer to things that typically happen in certain situations. For example, academic language. Drivers, I cannot take. Drivers may feel tired if they do not take a break every two hours. This is something academic and this refers to certain situations. Drivers may feel tired. Adults may find it difficult to sleep if they use technology before going to bed. Or these tablets may produce serious side effects if not taken in the correct dosage. May is used when we are talking about different situations, if we are talking about academic language, right? Like more formal. That's what it means. In the end, finally, we are getting to this one. And here we have. Then I have included my here. And it says, made and might are used to speculate about past actions. Something was possible, possible in the past, but we are not sure. So these are speculations. Maybe, okay, something happened. Okay, which speculations do we have here? Hey, your comment may have offended some people. Maybe yes, maybe not. Speculations. She's not here. She might have gone to the market. You are speculating 
where the lady is. What was that noise outside? I think it may, I think it may have been a cat. All of them are speculations. You think that something happened. And that is, you can use may or you can use might. Here, you can interchange them. That is not a difference, right? Again, and now we are going to, this is the last one. Whenever we want to express wishes, do you know what wishes are? Do you know what wishes are? Not witches. <laughs> that is something different. <laughs> witches and wishes. Witches is brujas. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. So, but I'm not saying witches. I'm saying wishes. Deseos. 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 Okay. So, when we want to express wishes, it says, May you both live a long and happy life together. May the new year bring you love and happiness. May all your wishes come true and may the force to be with you. Wishes. Okay. Now you are going to take a quiz. Quiz. A quiz, yes. Okay. Des después de too many uh, may and might, now we have a quiz. Let me see where the quiz is. Let me check. And there it is. It is not very complicated. You know that they are like very basic. Okay. I'm going to post this in the chat box. Okay. okay, you take it and the screenshot there, okay? Please. Okay.
Okay, we have the first. The good aspect is that you can check which are the correct, which are the incorrect. Yes, Osvaldo, I've just got it. Hoy sí le funcionó, right? Good. Okay, I don't have more results. Okay, only Berta and Osvaldo. What about the others? Okay, I've got another one. It is the same yours, right, Berta? The WhatsApp. No. No? Okay, I thought it no. was the same. Okay. So we have Kenya, Lucia, Berta, and Osvaldo. Okay, now we are going to have, um, Teacher. yes, Elsie. Sorry, I, I, what do you mean, You? Me quedé dormida, me quedé dormida. <laughs> Ay, mi muchachita, don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, it happens. It is late. Okay. Right? Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys. Okay, listen. We have in your book, in your page, I'm going to show you in your book, in your page um, 24, you have this exercise. What do you have to do? You have to use may or might. In this in this case, right, uh, you can interchange them with no problem, right? But let's see, you are going to complete these exercises for tomorrow. But do it. <laughs> okay. What page? 24. Page 24. Okay. okay? Page the homework. As a homework assignment. Homework assignment for tomorrow. You complete this, and tomorrow we are going to check them at the beginning of the class. 
Okay. Uh, we take a picture. Okay, take a picture. Okay, let me see. Now you can do it. Have you done it? Teacher. Yes. Y se la vamos a enviar mañana a esa página. No, to, to WhatsApp. Yes, uh, to WhatsApp. Okay. You are going to upload it. And we are going to check them here together. Right? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So we're going to stop here. And then we are going to check the attendance for the second time. Okay, be ready. Delta Lidian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Santos Évora. Évora Santos. Present, teacher. <laughs> okay. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Alicet Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Erin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. En Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay, guys, so that's all for today's class. Thank you very much for being here. So, see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye.